Hello, just want to do a little quickie on the MBE LS 10 degree. This is using the dark casting. We get these raw, they have no seat bores, guide bores, spring pockets, everything like that. That way we can just keep the tolerances that we want. Um, that ensures it. Um, but large valve, two 300 intake valve, inch 625 exhaust. So these are great for you know, power adder ap applications, as this one is. This is a power adder application. You can see the hoops that we put in it. So this head is basically ready for assembly. So this is for an endurance application. These are for Adam Ofsted. Um, Tom at Tom's Performance in Vancouver, Washington is building this build. Um, we have been dealing with, uh, working with, with Tom and his son Josh in this build. Um, they have been nothing but professional. I would suggest anybody to go to them. Um, very professional and more importantly, very knowledgeable. They've been very, very, very nice to work with. Um, but you can see here, just a typical MBE machine work, you know, that we certainly pride ourselves in. Um, you can see we don't, nothing's a rush, you know, the see the CNC lines you know they're not spread apart because when you do that it just it, it makes it less time but um, you know we're even though we as much product as we do we are not a production shop we're here about making power here so you know it does have a fair amount of, uh, of rocker arm attachments here maybe not as much as many as some of the other MBE applications but at least it's decent at least it's not a single bar with eight um, this has hat washers in it so these are the machine hat washers these are specially heat treated. They will not gall at all or make that awful sound when you tighten them and they just squeal. So they have, so we make all of these and we press all those in. But you got an intake port over 480 CFM on a, on a 1020 bench. So on a 600 flow bench, probably in the 490 range, maybe a little more. Exhaust though on this is, is, is over 300. It's, a, it's got a, you know, a fair amount of cross-sectional area. This will also work for normally, aspirate ap ap normally aspirated applications um, that have enough cubic inch or, and or RPM that they're gonna run. Because yeah, as we speak about in the other videos, cubic inch and RPM are what dictates how big the ports are in the cross-sectional areas within the port. But you can see this has a lot of cross-sectional area. You can see in the intake port, the air does, uh, the, the port does not change shapes. And that makes it efficient, and the common wall is straight, which makes flow numbers, which in essence makes power. You know, maybe flow numbers aren't everything, but when the port is designed correctly, I would say, especially on the intake side, the flow numbers are important. And that's it. That's the MBE LS 10 degree. And, uh, thanks for joining us.